So to actually create the Telegram bot, we're going to be using something called the Bot Father, which is a really nice sort of like um, application that's created by Telegram, which will essentially guide you through the entire process of creating a bot. So I've opened up Telegram here and I've got the Bot Father open. When you start the conversation with the Bot Father, it will give you an outline of all the different things that it can actually help you with. So you can create a new bot, you can edit existing bots, um, you can edit the descriptions, names, all that sort of thing. Um, you can create apps, you can uh, access the apps, um, and you can get authorization tokens as well. For now, we're really just going to be focused on actually just creating a bot. So I'm going to type new bot into the chat window, and it's going to guide me through the process of creating this new bot. So the first thing it asks is for me to give it a name. So I'm just going to give it a unique name. Uh, in this particular use case, I'm going to be building a recipe bot. So essentially, I want to use this Telegram bot to get inspiration for recipes that I can cook. Not only that, I also want it to give me step-by-step -step instructions on how to cook those recipes and then any other dietary requirements that uh, might be useful to know as well. So I've given it an appropriate name um, and then I just need to choose a username for this bot, essentially just something that ends in bot. And once that's done, you'll get a summary. Uh, it'll give you a link, which you'll then be able to click on, which will then open up the conversation with the bot within the Telegram app. Uh, but most importantly, you'll get this access token. And that access token is going to be unique for that particular bot. And it's going to be what we need to use to integrate with NAN. So I'll come over to NAN now. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to set up a trigger using the Telegram trigger. The trigger that we're going to set up is essentially when a message appears in that chat. So we need to add the access token for that particular chat. This will mean that when a new message that I send in that chat gets identified, the Telegram trigger in this automation will then fire. So once you've connected the credentials, you should be good to go. And essentially, we're just saying that the trigger is on a new message within that conversation. So if we just test this by sending a just a quick message in this chat. I'm just going to say hi. And if I come back to NAN, you'll see that it has received a response from Telegram. And it's got all of this metadata about the message, about the person who sent the message, the timestamp, the actual text that they sent, and the chat itself as well. So that's great. That's exactly what we need in order to move through the rest of the workflow.